I punched him in the fucking face and I don't regret it. Hey guys, it's Watson. Welcome to my channel. Yes, I'm in a different location. Where am I? Welcome to my living room. I know. Change of scenery. It's a little strange, isn't it? Yeah, um, my voice is kind of going. I can feel it, so if I get even quieter, you'll know why. Sorry I'm being so quiet. I'm, there's people in my house, and I don't really know who they are, but we can just go with it. Today, I want to talk to you about cat call and my experiences. First of all, before you leave, I'm not a feminazi. What I mean by that is, you know, I believe in the rights and I support them, but I'm not like an activist in the sense of it, you know what I mean? So I'm not just gonna be like, you know, women, blah, 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 this, this, and this, and that. I'm just telling you my experiences and how they've affected me personally. So if that annoys you, don't worry. We're gonna stay like totally cool here. I'm not gonna get triggered. Actually, wait, maybe I should put on my triggered glasses. Hang on. Ooh, oh, ooh. You can actually like see the computer screen. Wait, can you see what I'm watching? So today I'm talking to you about my personal cat call experiences and to be honest they're a little bit more extreme than what you'd normally see. And I don't mean necessarily in like the cat calling itself, more so my reactions. You know, I speak my mind. I'm not super timid in public. And I may or may not have assaulted a few of my previous cat callers. <laughs> when your ADHD makes you violent. I'm just gonna get straight into it. We were living in England for a very short period of time. I actually worked at a hairdresser, as ooh, what do you know? Before I had this mess of like, you can't really see it. Hang on. Before I had this mess of like, blue sea green teal hair. I'm just gonna turn that back down so you can see my skin. And I wore like copious amounts of eyeliner. I actually tended to get cat called a lot. I worked in the city and I think I didn't really realize that it was actually a thing. I kind of just saw it on BuzzFeed and like played it off until I started walking around the city on my own because that's what I did when I worked with the hairdressers. I would like, you know, have an hour lunch and so I'd go walk around town and just chill and a lot more catcalling took like place <laughs> when I was just walking around by myself as opposed to like when I was walking around with my friends, you know? I hear people describing it as scary and for me it wasn't so much scary as just kind of uncomfortable especially because I was like 14, 15 at the time. I was like underage, you know? Because often when younger people have like well-developed figures if you know what I mean they like tend to get mistaken to be older than they are because I, I mean I know I look like in this camera I look like nine but like when I get up and walk around I actually I um I get mistaken for like 17 18 a lot I think it might just be my tits I have no idea <laughs> please don't take that the wrong way and so I would walk around down and get cat called all the time and at first I was just kind of like like what like I was taken aback because it never really happened to me as much I mean I've been cat called in New York a couple times but it wasn't really anything major because when I was in New York, I was mainly like 12, 13, so it wasn't that occurring. And even when it was 12 or 13, that is like sick. So I just kind of like brushed it off, like honestly, what the fuck ever. But then when I got older, I guess I had more of a chance to kind of like think about it and like realize how uncomfortable it made me. Because it, it really did make me pretty uncomfortable, you know. Like, I was uncomfortable the first couple times, and then after that, I just started getting like pissed off. Like, not because it pissed me off per se in a way that it was like this makes me angry but it's like it made me more angry at the prospect of someone thinking that it was like okay i'm underage and grown men think it's okay to do that so it's like not cool with me i don't know what the fuck is wrong with them but y you know what i mean that's what pissed me off more than anything oh, i'm so tired and so my friends it got to a point where i was fucking done with that <gasps> Usually when I was done working, I would get off work and I would wait at the corner. When you're waiting at the corner, you know things can get fucking weird. Funniest thing is, is on the corner opposite from where I worked, there was a construction going on. You see I'm going with this, so a lot of construction workers would catcall me and I think I kind of, they pissed me off more than anything and so they kind of, I never really assaulted them. But they pushed me over the edge to assaulting who I kind of did end up assaulting. <laughs> yeah, but low-key, I was just tired of it. And so when I did assault people, it was kind of out of a fit of sensory overload. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like when you're so pissed off that any little thing bugs you. If, like, someone will clink a spoon the wrong way and you'll just fucking murder them. It got to the point where a guy would look me up and down. Or they'd be like, hey, baby. And I would, <laughs> like, go straight for the throat. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah. And so there were around I think three instances where I assaulted my cat callers because there were a surprising amount of and I know you guys probably think that's fucking insane considering right now I have like blue fading sea green fucking hair fucking whatever the fuck my eye makeup's doing 
and like fucking this wonderful skin courtesy of aspartame yours truly not sponsored the first assault occurred when i was walking to the osushi during my lunch break to get my motherfucking ramen because bitch can't live without her ramen you, you guys know what i'm talking about like the like the fucking japanese drink with the marble that was like the shit basically my hair salon was on a corner and so i would turn and i would cross past starbucks and i would walk down to yosushi because it was on the same like street like the same like city street you know what i'm talking about like like the line of shops i was walking to yosushi and basically where the corner turned on like starbucks starbucks basically had like the two sides of it were both like doors and so there was like a little corner where like the doors met i'll show you so it was like kind of like this you know what i mean and the doors were like on like either side of like this like this side was a door and like this side was a door and then this bit was just like wall because it connected to the doors and i would always see like people like leaning against the wall just chilling looking at the fountain because there was a fountain in front of starbucks too and so they'd just be like chilling watching the fountain and i was walking by i didn't really think anything of it until there was a man about 20 like 23 24 kind of and so i walked past him because i didn't even notice him i just hear him go <clears throat> and i turn around i'm like the fuck Keith might as well, we worked at this hair salon, we had to look sharp as fuck. My hair was brown, it was like perfectly curled, I had like fucking bomb ass like bronze fucking smoky eye bullshit. Fucking like my contour was like, and like I, I was like wearing like a really tight and a black dress because we had to wear all black, that was the only dress code. So I think I looked pretty fucking bomb and I guess he must have thought the same too. Because as soon as I hear the little, <clears throat> I turn around. I turn around to see this 23, 24 year old guy just like looking and they just look and they're like <laughs> and he fucking winks at me he dead ass just looks me up and down like bites his lip and then winks I'm big fucking I'm fucking 15 fuck off and so I'm I'm pissed off, you know, I'm, this is like the least of my assaults. And I just stop and I look at him and I say, can I help you? And he instantly just comes back with this retort, like, only if you want, baby. So if you could kindly fuck off, that would be much appreciated. And so he just, he <laughs> fucking throws me over the edge for the first time. This isn't the worst thing I've done, but it's not the best. <laughs> and so I'm just like, fuck it. I just go up to him and I slap him as hard as I possibly fucking can. I know it's like wrong, but I think what they did was a little bit worse, kind of like underage. Okay, you know, when you can't call an underage person when you're clearly over, it's like, like fuck off mate. Next story. So it basically starts off with me going to Starbucks because fucking Starbucks, right? Starbucks led me to wonderful places last time I passed it. So might as well actually go in it this time. So I pass it. And, and there's a fucking guy. I, I'm not. I kid you not. The guy is leaning in the exact same spot. Not the same. Not the same guy. A different guy. But like, it's still fucking weird. So I'm about to turn and walk into the door on like the left side. He's like, excuse me, and I foolishly just go, oh hi, just fucking hi, hi, random 25 year old man. How are you? I was only 15. So he doesn't really look me up and down this time. He just looks at me, and like I said, say hey, and I'm like, oh hi. Fucking, I thought I, like, I'm, he might have known me or something, and so that's why I, like, said hi, you know, because it's like... So he looks at me, and at first he's like, you're right. I'm like, yeah, what's up? He just looks at me, leans forward, and then says, make sure you save those titties for someone special. Bitch, what? <laughs> Keep in mind, this all happened in the space of a week, so I slapped a guy on, like... I believe it was Tuesday and this was fucking Thursday this was fucking Thursday and I was done slapping because that seemed a little bit too you know vulnerable to me so you know what I punched him in the fucking face and I don't fucking regret it I did ask I was just like fucking fucking bye and he just looks at me like what the fuck is your problem and I don't I don't say a word I just walk into Starbucks because it's a lot more difficult to retaliate and assault someone inside a public building so don't just like punch your cat collars especially if you're young and weak like me i don't regret it fuck fuck him fuck that guy and the final story i think is the most exciting one because it it was more like scary as opposed to just angry and it, it wasn't really cat calling as much as um as creeper but i think uh i kind of made my mark on him so i'm not really as scared anymore they say don't assume that you're more powerful than you are i, I know i'm a weak ass bitch but like 
fuck it. So it's Friday, I had money on me, and I went to go shop at Primark after I got off my shift. And basically, to walk to my bus stop, there was a bit of like a strange car park that was like pretty empty, and it like holds on a corner. So the bus stop is like right near a corner. And so the bus stop is at the corner. So I decided to have the bag. So I stepped outside like the little bus thing, and you don't talk like the little, like the bus stop where like the sides and like the roof is and all that bullshit. I stepped to the side, roll up a little fact, and then I start to smoke, and all of a sudden, a man creepily walks from the thing. Keep in mind, I was fully alone at this bus stop, so this man creeps behind the corner-ish, and he looks about, like, you know, 20, he looks about 21, 22, so not too old, not too, like, scary, and so he just walks, he's walking normally, and I think he's just gonna stay at the bus stop, except he doesn't, like, he doesn't go in the bus stop, he just stands next to me, and I'm waiting at a corner. It doesn't look like I'm waiting at the bus stop. It looks like I'm waiting at the fucking corner. Therefore, I pretty much look like a fucking prostitute. And since, like, the oldest I looked would have been, like, 17. Okay. So, it w I wouldn't have been a fucking 17-year-old prostitute. Therefore, it's not really fair to say you look like a prostitute. He just stands beside me. And I'm just thinking, oh, is he waiting for the bus too? Why isn't he waiting in the actual bus stop? And so, he looks me up and down again. And I'm thinking, oh, fuck. Well, here we go again. As I got this Primark bag. And, um, you know, he winks. I'm just like shaking my head like fuck off. So the man subtly reached into his pocket and pulled out five twenty dollar bills. Excuse me? He was about to offer me a hundred dollars and he starts to like fucking caution it over to me, fucking like like put it in my direction, like here, take it, take it, take it. Cause he thought I was a fucking prostitute. Hmm. Maybe because I'm smoking a cigarette by the corner? Keep in mind, again, I'm next to a fucking bus stop. So he just keeps trying to motion, like, this money over to me, and I'm like, like, what the fuck? <laughs> I look at him, and I dead ass. I just look at him, and I say, you think I'm gonna sleep with you? And he just looks with this fucking, this expression that I'm never gonna forget, because it fucking pissed me off. It's just like, I'll fucking obviously, like, fucking take it. Like, he was getting mad at me for not taking the money, for questioning him, and I'm just here, like, are you fucking, are you fucking, are you fucking serious if someone questions you handing them free money like it, that's the time to like go away but he wasn't going away he kept like offering to me kept like motioning towards me he was like take it like fucking take it like fucking come with me and fucking take the money because <laughs> he still fucking thought i was a prostitute or he might have thought that i would just become a prostitute for one night to fucking fuck this fucking 21 year old pussy looking leafy is here face guy you know what i mean so i just get so fucking and i'm i'm done with like fucking uh, oh well fucking god i'm pissed i'm fucking pissed i'm like is this really fucking okay do you really think this is fucking okay because it's not just like looking someone up and down it's not just like saying hey baby it's not just like saying you know save the titties or something like some bullshit like that he this is a man thinking that an underage girl is a prostitute and trying to offer her money to illegally have sex with him that's sick he turned like even closer to me and i just lift my knee <laughs> And knee him in the dick. <laughs> he fucking doubled over and I just took my Primark bag and I fucking smacked that little bitch across the head and that was just like, fuck off. I think I was able to handle it so it wasn't as big of a deal for me because I kind of just immediately removed myself from the situation and it ended up okay. So we need to find better ways to avoid these situations and make sure that they, they don't happen in the first place. So people don't have to assault others and stuff like that because I was merely doing it out of self-defense. And of course he took this cue to get up, groan, and just stumble away. And I finished my fag and the bus came. I have never really told anybody these stories except, except I've told my friend Adam that I've gotten like catcalled before. And he reacted negatively too. He's been like, like what the fuck, like honestly. But I've never really told anyone about my experiences assaulting catcallers, so I don't really know how well it's gonna get received. And kind of like putting out a little PSA as to, hey, this can happen to you. Make sure you're prepared and make sure you can be careful. And also, don't do this. Don't put girls in these situations, if that makes any sense. I'm not gonna pull a whole, women are victims of everything everywhere. But like, you know, it's like, let's not let this happen. And let's prevent it. Yeah? Is that good? So yeah, I hope you got, I hope you got something from these stories, and I'll see you in the next video. What's in Sandra?